Today we are going to work on page layout in Microsoft Office Word. We will use different options of page layout menu like margin. First you should select the, your document. Like control A, select your document then go to margin which type of margin do you want to give to this document suppose normal it's almost in a normal narrow narrow margin have 0 0.5 top left 0 0.5 button 0 0.5 and right for 0 0.5 it has changed the whole documents and if you click on moderate it is also change your document because in moderate top has one left has 0 0.5, 0 0.75, right 0 0.75 top, bottom 0 0.75 width so mirror normally people use a normal which has both top left bottom right has one inch of size so margin you can apply margin for different documentations orientation orientation is used for print option especially when you are printing your documents so some documents have <coughs> portrait some per documents almost all the documents needed to be printed on the portrait format some need to be print on the landscape in landscape have the width more than uh, the length while in portrait the length is more than the width when you click on landscape it will show the width more than the length so when you click on portrait it will show the length of or the height more than the length it is only used for print option size you can also give different size for what purpose is your document suppose if you are using a letter document its size can be 8.5 and 11 multiply by 11 like this one when your document is tabloid its size could be 11 by 17 legal legal page this option is used for paper for the hard copies like papers normally people use a four size of page which has 8.2 8.27 multiplied by 11.69 size <coughs> um, while in some cases when the documents is in larger people uses legal page size while letter page is small then a4 size normally people use a, a4 size page this is the hard copy page size blank document blank paper size a4 size has 8.27 by 11.69 while legal size has more uh, height than a4 size so this is also used for the print format columns do you want to show your documents on one column in one column in two column or in three columns suppose when you click in two column your documents will be in this format in three column let us show your document in three column suppose make it undo we want to show this document we will select uh, not the heading but the remaining document then click on two column your documents will be in this format
3 column your documents will be in this format <laughs> your written will be in three different columns but uh, your heading we want to not to show your heading but in this format you can give your heading suppose control x for cut we will give the header control v no we want to show your document in two or three column go to page layout um, columns suppose two column no want to see this document your heading remain the same and uh, while your remaining uh, documents show in two columns so in these uh, if you are showing your documents in two or three columns you should go to the border insert first create header then uh, the heading of the your document should be copied uh, or cut and copy to your header then uh, select the remaining your documents then show them in two or three columns what is the purpose of break if you want to create break in your pages suppose we want that the remaining documents should be showed in into the next page our next column next page so the remaining documents went to the next page make it undo for page breakup for column for text wrapping for next page continue event normally these are used for page breakup uh, if you want to show suppose we want to show go these documents to the next page click on page break make it undo line number we want to give uh, serial wise number suppose line number continue it has automatically show line number to this give line number to ha all the rows make it undo hyphenation have no use here we want to work on watermark watermark is used a background written on your document suppose we want to click on custom watermark custom watermark text you should write here text suppose uh, institute of professional accountants ipa want to give different color suppose i want to give this color then apply then close here you can see institute of professional accountant you can remove this watermark remove watermark custom watermark text you can also create picture from here select picture it will become a background color or a background document of your documentation suppose uh, ipa we want to write ipa want to change the color apply 
then close you can see IPA here remove watermark then again enter watermark text IPA IPA you can see IPA is your background written document and is a background color here you can see IPA page color you want to give page color to the whole page you can give page color to the whole page page color want to give this page color this page color or any page color you can give to your pages from the page layout menu click on page color no page color page border you can give different page borders suppose we want to give this page border <coughs> indent left indent right how much space you want to uh, keep on the left menu on the left side and on the right side suppose oh, first you should select your document then how much space you want to keep on the left side suppose oh, click on these 2.2 you can increase the left side space you can decrease the left side space you can increase the right side space space increases on the right side decreases on the right side this is called indent left indent right indent how much space you want to keep before paragraph how much space you want to keep you keep after paragraph align so this is our third section of the Microsoft Word page layout we will work further on different uh, uh, reference mailing revenue review and weaves thank you so much dear please subscribe our channel uh, we have specific playlist for Microsoft Word for Microsoft Excel, Access, PowerPoint, and PhD Telequick Book Accounting Software. Thank you so much.